I work for a very upscale catering company in Washington, D.C. do most of our events downtown, up in Northwest, up where those people have money. I tell people I put on a tuxedo and serve food to rich people. That's how I make my money. I saved this pink fabric from the Opera Ball maybe like three years ago. The Opera Ball being one of Washington, D.C.'s premier events where all the high society you know, little ladies come out and their men are in tuxedos and all the ladies in evening gowns. And I think they raise money for the opera. It's at a different embassy every year, and I think this year it was at the Embassy of Japan, I think, up there by American University. And they had this tent, and all the inside was just swathed with this pink fabric. And at the end of the event, they were taking it down, and I said, hey, can I have some of that stuff? Because I just had an idea that maybe I could do some kind of art with it. So I brought some fabric home, and it's been sitting in my basement for like three years now, I think. And I had some ideas for it, and just never put it into practice. And then finally I said, you know what? I've got this little Word 7 Arts Collaborative exhibit thing coming up. I'm just going to get this done, do some documentation, take some pictures. i got this video camera. I can do a little video, and it'll be part of my exhibit. You know, I really like the idea of taking the waste of a lavish extravagance up there in Upper Northwest and bringing it over here east of the river, doing something cool with it. Actually, Miss Stanley and Miss Burke, um, Miss Burke, who works in the Kenworth Coach Resident Council office, and uh, Miss Stanley, who's head of the uh, uh, Resident Council, and Miss Burke, who works in the management office, I should say, and Miss Stanley, who's head of the Resident Council, just drove by. Miss Burke was like, "Hey, how are you? Hey, what's this for?" And I'm like, "Fun. It's supposed to be fun." So it's been sort of a dream of mine, I guess, to do something with this pink fabric. And I've finally done it. So that's kind of cool, Eugene and Brian, two of my friends. I sent this email out to a bunch of friends saying they should come over and help me, but uh, two of them did, Eugene and uh, Brian, and they helped me get this stuff up. And I started at like 6, 6.30 in the evening, uh, Monday night, yesterday night, and, and uh, I didn't go to bed until like 2 in the morning because I was making those little gates, and those little flags, the little frames for the flags. And, and um, Dean and Brian had helped me put this stuff up on the porch here uh, while, while it was still light. And then I was working on that other stuff at night. And I just, like I got all the little flags done. And I just said, you know what, I'm going to go put them out in the yard there because uh, I wanted to get it done. And I ended up going to bed at like 2 in the morning. And I had to get up at like five o'clock to go to work, so. But it was fun, it was great. 